grace you, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence. By your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Matthew 21, verse 19. I want you to know that God had a purpose for you to be created as a human being. He created you for that purpose. There is something which God created you for. He did not create you to come and enjoy the world. Yes, the joy that you know we are having is part of his promises. But his purpose is what you need to discover. He created you for a purpose. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. God created you for a purpose. Not the purpose of God in your life. If you don't know the purpose of God in your life, then you don't know what you are doing. There are people who be preachers. There are people who be whatever you become. But don't forget that the purpose of God is supreme in your life. Marry or education, money, all these things. It's one of those things that you enjoy as you are fulfilling the purpose of God in your life. This one is not a parable. Follow me in verse 19. Matthew 21 verse 19. So we talk about the purpose of God in our life. That is our simple title. The purpose of what? In our life. Is there anything that you have done for him to be satisfied that he created you as a human being? Is there anything that can convince your life that yes, you have done the purpose of God, the one that he created you for? If the answer is no, sit down and ask him, Father, let me know the reason why you created me as a human being. There are animals all over. There are so many things that God created. But he chose to create you as a human being in order for you to represent him and fulfill his good intention here on earth. Listen to this. Verse 19. Are you there? Seeing a fig tree by the Lord, he went up to it but found nothing on it except leaves. Then he said to it, may you never bear fruits again. Immediately the tree withered. 20. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did the fig tree wither so quickly? They asked. This is now Jesus talking to them in verse 21. He replied, truly I tell you, if you have faith, and do not doubt. Not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. If you believe, this is 22, we will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Sing a fig tree shining all the leaves were like fruits are all over the tree. He went there because he was angry, expecting some fruits from that tree. When he reached to that tree, he discovered that nothing was there apart from the leaves. He said, may you never bear any fruit again. And it happens. 
Ichimu chichiauma instantly. All the disciples were amazed to say, ah, ah, how come so quick? They started debating. No, no, how come? How come? Jesus heard them discussing the issue of the fig tree. Let me tell you this. Any word from Jesus, anything that comes from God Almighty is life. Is what? Life. What do I mean? Le sangalande shui taribwe le lamo. This amu kuchita create if you are If you don't know, tarichita shan. It will never go back until we feel land the resurrection. This is why you see we can pray in the name of Jesus be healed. If it is the voice of Pastor Mlinga, no one will receive healing. If it is the Holy Spirit speaking, you will see healing happens there. He said, may you never bear any fruit again. What does it mean? Chimuno kwa tiba landa tiwa pape nwa itashani. Wafwa. And it happens to the fig tree. He was expecting some fruits. In short, Jesus was talking to the tree to say, look, I created you to bear fruits. Not at your own time, at my own time. But I find nothing. It's better you disappear from, you know, the planet. And the tree disappeared, just like that. Ichimu teacher lina mabula ya flesh. Ichimu teacher le moneka wino chauma. This is not a parable. You are a human being created in the image of God. And God Almighty is expecting something through you. See the way you are shining. People know you as what? A child of God. Does Jesus know you as his child? Are you bearing any fruit for him? Are you fulfilling the promise of God Almighty in your life? Or you are just representing your family? your wife, your children. Because we are more of our family. If you are a lawyer, after everything here on earth, who are you going to be? Does it mean God created you to be a lawyer? No. That your career is one of your blessings, but his purpose has to be fulfilled. Besides your career, the purpose of God is supreme over your life because you are a human being. Even if you are a police officer, you are a minister, you are a president, you are also calling blood and flesh. You are a human being. God spent time to create you. And he had, you know, a good purpose for you. Each and every time you know Jesus will come to you, he will see nothing apart from your agenda. Each and every time you come to benefit out of the life he created, he will see nothing. If it is not anger or jealousy in you or stubbornness, please remove this self righteousness. Where you think you are more righteous and what you are doing, as long as you read the Bible, you do what? No. Your personal relationship with Jesus is more important. It's more important. He went to the tree. Expecting some fruits. Looking at the leaves. Very greenish. He thought there are some fruits there. Let's go there. We eat something. Reaching there, only leaves. That is the life we are living now. Outside, I was talking about this one last Sunday. Outside, we are shining as if we are calling any fruit. And yet... There's nothing like that. He was not created you to be a minister. Even if you are a politician, my brother, my sister, think about the source of your life. God cannot create you to be a politician alone. No. Politics is here on earth. In heaven, there's no politics. Being a judge is here on earth. What about there in heaven? Are you going to be part of the judgment team? Sit down and think about your life after this one. Jesus is always looking, you know, 
to you to see if there is any fruit coming to you to win souls for him to show love to the world people must know Jesus through your life he created you to be maybe a, 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 an usher or maybe a, a, an elder whatever purpose God created you for it is not position that can save God please make no mistake titles cannot save what if, if anything titles are misleading our Christian life it is your personal relationship with Jesus what you are doing for him is what to make you a child of God it is Jesus to approve your sonship that yes you are saving the purpose that I you know I created you for how many people if you ask anyone you hear our leaders, politicians, they will just say, you know, our politician, Mulet <laughs> Pepelako. Sometimes I laugh. We can pray for you, but after this life, who is going to pray for you? Who is going to pray for you? Because all of us will be busy asking God for his mercy. Even if you are a bishop, you are a reverend, you are a pastor, you need to bear fruits. That was the purpose God created you for, is to bear fruit for him. So that you win souls for him. We pray for you. We pray for ourselves. But there will be a time whereby I cannot pray for you. I need someone to pray for me. Are you there? Are you there? I'm begging you. This is the only time God has given to you and me. Look at your life. Being a good mother, a good father to your family, to your wife, your husband, it doesn't mean that you are good enough if your relationship between you and Jesus is questionable. Your children, your husband, your family members will appreciate you. What about the one who created you? He's expecting something out of you. See the way, you know, we treat our children. Can you buy a vehicle and you just drop it on the lot to say whoever wants to take it, take it. A message Benz, a land cruiser. You follow whoever carry that vehicle, you follow that person. Why? You are expecting something out of that vehicle. God created you for a purpose. Now, coming to this world, you now uh, set aside the purpose of God in your life to say, let me pursue my own. There is nothing wrong to be educated. Please, quote me clearly. There is nothing wrong to be married. There is nothing wrong to be a politician or a lawyer. Even before now, politicians were there. But what is wrong is to live without fulfilling the purpose of God in your life. Because God cannot create you to be a politician alone, or a teacher alone, or a police alone. No. He created you for his own purpose. Tell me, is there anything God is benefiting through your career? If the answer is no, then think twice. Don't Listen to this now. Let me take you to uh, the book of Luke 13, verse 6. Luke 13, verse 6. Then we go to Matthew 10, 3, verse 10, I mean. Luke 13, verse 6. Are you there? Yes. It's here. Listen to this. This is the scripture that I quoted on Friday. Then he told this parable. This one is a parable now. The one I was talking about was not a parable, but this one is a parable. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard. And he went to look for a fruit on it. But he did not find any. We are just connecting to the one I, I shared with you now. Verse 7. So he said to the man, 
who took care of the vineyard. For three years now, I've been coming to look for a fruit on this fig tree. And I haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? This is the answer from the caretaker. Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year. And I will dig around it and fertilize it. Nine. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. He told them this parable that a man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard. And he went to look for a fruit on it, but he did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, I've been coming here for three years. I haven't got any fruit from this tree. Cut it down. Cut it down. Then the caretaker said, No, sir. I'm going to cut it down. It's a parable. Jesus is always standing in your gap, pleading for his mercy upon your life to give you another chance so that you can start bearing what? Fruits. He is always pleading, Father, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy. If it is not Jesus in your position, where are you going to be by now? The purpose of God in your life is more important than what you are pursuing every day. God created you to fulfill his own agenda, not your own agenda alone. As much as you want to show that yes, you can do this, but remember that his purpose is supreme over your life. If you can allow his purpose to be fulfilled, you enjoy this life more than ever before. Our every day. If you don't know, if you don't know, if you don't know, let the purpose of God be supreme in your life. You will see life. You enjoy life. Niba ngabe ngalanda ine umfuwa kwa kwa lesa and ito lesa mpangire chena nda chichita everyday. I know that we are good in lying. We are not even ashamed when it comes to lie. We lie in the public. Anywhere we can lie. <laughs> are you born again? Yes. And the person who is saying yes is a drunkard. Have you ever seen someone inside the church who say, no, me I'm a witch. Mwari monako. Na wanti kwa mbo kutunga nyate avali monika fukwata avali no mwata kwa wakula ndafija mwanti. He went to see the fruits on that tree. Jesus is always coming to your place. He's always visiting you to see if truly you are fulfilling his purpose in your life. He could not see not even one except you pursuing your own agenda. You want to be a big woman. You want to be a big man. You want to be a professor. You want to be known all over the world. If you are known all over the world, where are you going to be? You are a limited person if you don't know. You can't go beyond your age. God can allow you to reach 90. It doesn't mean that you became successful in life. No. In fact, your life is full of pain. Every human being is limited by age. You can't go beyond your age. But the purpose of God is supreme over your life. Being a teacher, a doctor, a counselor, a mayor, any position you are holding is one of your blessings. But include God in those areas where you became what? Successful. 
Use your position to fulfill the purpose of God in your life. Use it for his own good. He will elevate you. He will remove you from that position to another level in life. Because you are serving his purpose using that position where you are. But in a situation whereby once you are promoted, you can't even think about Jesus. You are on your own. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Where are you going? Can you tell sickness that you are busy? Can you tell Maria that you are busy? You cannot. But why are you telling your creator that you are busy? The one who gives you life. The one who bless you. You are telling that you are busy. You are busy. You are busy. But you should probably show me now. My husband, you know these uh, church issues. He doesn't want to hear these things of you know churches. Because you are eating, you are driving, you are counting what? Money. That is not the purpose of God in your life. Those things are your blessings. Those material things is for the flesh. What about your spiritual life? Think up. Look at the way we think about our education. Starting from grade one up to grade, I mean university. You'll be thinking of being a professor. How many teachers today who are degree holders? I was talking to one of our madams why she's inside the church. Uh, I was asking her on Friday, I said, ah, Mommy, you are wearing this? She said, no, I'm a Nestle. Lady. I said, ah, I don't know. She said, no, I went to upgrade my system so that I can be this. You see? I went to upgrade. Uh, my mother is there. She's listening to this. There are so many people with degrees. Going where? We pursue our career every day, even at the old age. Why are you neglecting the purpose of God in your life? Did you apply to be born here on earth? God Almighty considered you to be a human being here on without any application. Is it not a blessing to you? Is it not a blessing? How many children that died the time that you were born to this life? How many miscarriage? How many babies that lost their life? Here you are. Are you a champion? No. The purpose of God has kept you to be where you are today, as it is written here, where the man said, no, give it another one more year. That's why you are there. The purpose of God is number one. Your, your agenda is number two. If not number six, you need to give gap. You cannot be number two to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's go to, uh, back to Matthew uh, 3 verse 10. This is 3 verse 10. I'll just read 10. I don't want to confuse you to go to... Uh, anyway, we can read 11, but in my interest, my main point is on verse 10. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and throw it into what? The fire. This is the statement now. I baptize you with water for repentance. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I. Who is more what? Uh, you will finish this one. My interest was on verse 10. Akasembe karipamishila olede. Akasembe karipisa. Muku ponyenshi. Ichita jichita shani. No, Musa Lunga Marin Mamuga de Nuambo Kukashka Mula Nukula Mula Station. Taula saving a pepper, she has to make Musa Lunga Deni Funyani Mamurim became on me. Tell you much time. Impress Tashina Stananikani, Limbika and Moshindi. Let the purpose of God in your life be supreme or be number one. Much the chance of Mulechta, first lesser. Whatever you are planning, God first. Father, let your purpose be fulfilled in my life. Let your purpose be fulfilled in my life. Nangubakula nshaba kashana kumurumendo. Bika molesa mchupo. 
Muri that relationship not muamba fe ani 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 u ampele shina ani ni nani Where did you get that one Where did you get that one The joy that we found out ourselves in our relationship came from where You can't buy it with money No one can create that joy in your marriage is one God, you know, that's why you need to love Jesus. He knows how to, you know, make you happy. He will give you food. He will give you this one. He will give everything. Even when you are sleeping, he will give you that good life when you are sleeping. You are not appreciating him or promoting his purpose in your life. You are just promoting your own agenda. Where are you going? Where are you going? Let the purpose of God be number one in your life. Whatever you want to become, God first. Whatever you are doing, God first. Amen. This is why you see Satan is always planting his things in us. Because we are too open to him. We want to live by the standard of this world. We are too open. To certain activities. That's why he's always putting problems, 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 attacks all over. Even if you are a prophet, Satan will not you know, fear you. He will come. What will remove, I mean, scare him is the presence of God in you. Because you are saving the purpose of God in your life. There he cannot destroy you. Are you there? Are you there? My prayer to you, people of God, is that promote the purpose of God in your life. There's something God wants you to fulfill in your life. He created you for that purpose. That's why he did not, each and every one of us, there's something God created you for. As long as you cannot do that, you are like that fig tree. You are making the work of God to suffer because of your stubbornness. You don't want to pray your law in order to fulfill the purpose of God in your life. The axe is on the roots. To cut the tree, that does not produce. There is a purpose God created you for. He did not create you to be what you are saying. That one is for the flesh. What about his, his purpose in your life? Even if you become a president today, he has a purpose for you. Tomorrow you'll be a member of parliament. Don't forget where you are coming from. Don't forget the reason why God has kept you to be where you are until you become what you have become. Why is it that when money is in our pocket, we became big? Why? Money has made people to behave, I don't know. In fact, ngamwa kwa tenda lama enshita mufure mwa ilango kuchira timuli bana ba kwa nani? Enshita mufure mwa bombela lesa nenda la mashenu kumo. Not if muchitanga mli na ma problems elo mulefunga sana. Nga shiri mutumbo kufunga ta kwa stashani. Na nu nga funga na 1 million mutumbo. For one week. Mm. Nanu inga funga chupo chile tetela. Nanu you know kutetela. Nanu inga funga. Kuli baby sweet. Nanu inga funga. Let's go and eat ice cream. Let's go and eat angry. Can you say prayer and fasting? There are few who can do that because they are saving the purpose of God in their lives. Majority of our people they cannot even think about God is there. Is the one who has made us to be where you are. They will just say, it is time we enjoy. I remember one person was telling me that to ali pepa ka le insta to afika po ya kuli afie. Uche na ino insta baledia. Takuli. Akuna kinto. Why? Things have gone sour. Why? 
Mungu tale lwalo kumwe bati ufunge ala bomba na ikala na bwino. The purpose of God in your life is what? Supreme. He had a purpose. And is that an agenda for you? You need to fulfill that agenda on behalf of your creator. That is the reason why you are here on earth. Becoming a teacher, a professor, a doctor, a politician, a counselor, a mayor, whatever you have become, a businessman, marry, whatever you are doing, is one of the things that God gave you to be happy that you are a human being. But his purpose is supreme. God bless you.